Tracking that breaking news, though, first at noon in East Providence, fire close to the city's commercial waterfront area. Crews called to Valley Street at about 10 o'clock this morning. Smoke still billowing from that area. It started to uh, limit visibility for drivers on parts of the highway. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish joins us now live from the scene with the very latest. Kayla. Good afternoon, Patrick. It's still a very active scene here on Valley Street in East Providence. The reason a fire that broke out in this uh, what looks to be a warehouse building behind me. I'm actually going to step out of the way so you can get a better idea of what's going on here. Within the past 15 minutes or so, we saw crews actually go inside the building, but it looks like firefighters are once again using ladder trucks to attack this fire from multiple angles. Now, we were here earlier this morning and have video that we can show you with flames and smoke billowing from the building, and that's still very much the case, at least in terms of smoke. There are dozens of firefighters here at the scene. We have ladder trucks from East Providence, Providence, and Pawtucket helping attack this from all angles. Also, firefighters and first responders from Rumford and Barrington at the scene as well. When I first arrived around 1030, firefighters were on the roof of the building working to put out these flames. Certainly an impressive effort here from first responders at the scene. As you mentioned, smoke could be seen from nearby Interstate 195. East Providence police and fire again all at the scene here. Valley Street is currently shut down. We've also seen investigators from the state fire marshal's office here. And you can see, uh, again, they're still putting tons of water on this fire, trying to get out all of these hot spots. It seems to be a bit more under control than earlier this morning when we were here. Again, crews have been here for about two hours now, and you can see some tape actually blocking off the scene. Again, it's still very much an active scene here. Then the investigation continues into what exactly started this fire? Again, a lot of questions yet to be answered. We'll keep you updated with more information on air and on WPRI.com with the more details as we learn them. For now, live in East Providence, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.